you are part of a larger picture. The first step you could take to fully detoxify yourself is to step out of the binary divisions that you have used to define reality prior to this point. This is a mouthful. I admit this is pretty heavy-duty stuff. It definitely requires a commitment. It is not something that you can take lightly. This is not something that you can casually screw around with. It's not like you can adopt all of this instantly with a full assurance that things will be okay. It takes a lot of work. Just as you have been programmed throughout the years to think of yourself within the universe in a certain way, it takes some time and consistent focus to unwind all of that programming. Here are just some basic ideas to think about as you seek to detoxify yourself on more than just a physical or biochemical level. Overcome the either-or mindset. Our modern mindset is all about division, as I've mentioned in the previous video. This mindset is all about finding some sort of primacy over one aspect at the expense of others. It's the whole idea of the male over the female, the rational over the intuitive, black or white, science or faith. The problem with this is that it's all about one thing over another. There's little space for a gray area. There's little space for intuition, hunches, nuance. While there's a lot to be said for the focus division and separation brings, a lot of it is also lost, especially when a lot of our basic needs have already been taken care of. A sense of lack in a time of plenty. One thing that always blows my mind is the prevalence of loneliness, isolation, and desperation in parts of the world that can be truly called lands of plenty. Whether we're talking about Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Western Europe, the United States are all points in between. There are many areas in this world where physical needs I'm talking about have enough calories to make it from day to day have been more than taken care of. It won't be an exaggeration to say that many people in these places live in the lap of luxury. They have access to many things that even their ancestors would find truly amazing and stupendous. But here we are, with massive rates of disconnection, divorce, addiction, perhaps even crime or self-harm. This is one of life's richest ironies. We live in a modern world where a lot of people feel that they have so little of what truly matters. Yet if they choose to look around them, they are surrounded by abundance. Diagnosing Real Poverty Did you know that millionaires kill themselves all the time? I'm not just talking about Kate Spade, Anthony Bourdain, Robin Williams, or any other fairly well-off celebrity that we've all heard of. I'm talking about relatively faceless, high-net-worth individuals who choose to pull the plug on their lives. They have everything to live for, but unfortunately, they have nothing to live from. There is no shortage of people who have seven or even eight figures in the bank killing themselves in many ways. I'm not just talking about suicide. I'm also talking about drug addiction. That's a form of suicide. There's a sickness going on. We're living in polluted times. A lot of this has to do with the mindset that we have. And unless you are going to see this for what it is, which is pollution, we will continue to be blind to it. Unfortunately, we'll continue to live with its effect. It doesn't feel good to think that you're just going around in circles that you put in all this time, effort, and energy only to end up in the same place. It would be great to feel that there is a purpose for your life and that you are actually going somewhere. Unfortunately, as the years go by and as technology evolves, the more connected we become and the faster data processes our lives and our impulse, the more disconnected we feel. Back in the day, it was weird to feel lonely in a crowd. Now, you can see street scenes all over the place of people looking at their mobile devices all at once. They're all connected and disconnected at the same time. We're all living in our own little world, but that world is disjointed, private. We're at the same time collaborating through all this technology while at the same time stewing in our own personal mental prisons. A lot of this can be traced to the fact that we have let certain pollutants get the better of us. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.